Hey, my YouTube friends, it's Marlon Gibbons here. Thank you so much for joining me at Music in the Making here in the studio. Today I want to cover, I guess, a bit of a hot topic. Uh, at least it, it was kind of a hot topic when I looked at 20, 25 videos uh, around the matter this morning. Here's what's going on. I, I woke up this morning to an email that I received from YouTube telling me that they were demonetizing my channel. And that was basically because, or is because, I don't meet the new criteria of what it takes to monetize your channel. The new criteria is that you need 4,000 hours of view time, 4,000, as well as 1,000 subscribers. As it stands right now, I have, uh, I think, just over 1,100 subscribers. It's January 17th, 2018, right now. So I have just over the, the new criteria threshold of 1,000. However, I believe that YouTube has looked at my channel from recently back only a year and they've looked at my growth and view time hours inside of a year and I guess I don't meet the requirements inside of a year. So they're demonetizing my channel. What do I think about this? Uh, I guess the idea of it to me sucks more than the, actual, the actuality of it. And that's because those of you that are regular subscribers to me, uh, you know that every week I'm consistent with my videos, that I try and bring you value. I'm not, I'm not asking my viewers for money. I make a humble living in this industry, in this music industry, and I'm just trying to share that with my viewers and engage with them. So I'm not really making money off this channel. I, sure, there's other prospects in that I maybe down the road I could partner with different brands, or, or there's always the, the Patreon um, model down, down the road. And even though YouTube is kind of giving me a little kick, I'm not going to pass that on to, to, to my viewers. You know, I really appreciate that you take your time and come here and, and watch my videos every week. And I hope you find value of it. So what I'm going to do is just continue on. Uh, worst case, they demonetize my channel. And when I do hit the, the criteria, I go through the process of monetizing my channel again. And so this is the boohoo. Um, this is just, uh, I wanted to share with you what's happening. I'm still going to push forward on it. And I genuinely do feel bad for the small channels that are under those requirements and have been busting their ass because, uh, their goal is to monetize their channel and, and make some income from it. I mean, so the idea of making a little bit of money, um, or at least the potential of making a little bit of money off this YouTube channel is, is kind of nice because during that time that I'm producing these videos and um, coming up with content and uh, recording it and editing it and posting it, um, that's time spent that's time spent away from my other work that, that does bring me um, income. And, and that's my choice. I get that. These new changes all of a sudden. It just it feels that you're being kicked back down the ladder a little bit. And I really feel for other YouTubers that uh, maybe have aspirations of, of growing their channel and, and uh, making it a viable source of income. So that's my two cents on that. I'm going to keep going. If anything, I'll set it as a goal to keep growing this channel and, and hit those marks. And um, <laughs> so to my viewers that tune in every week and have no interest in all that stuff I just talked about and you're here for this tidbit of, of information, a tip, let's call it. Um, here's my tip for this week. I strongly recommend writing music that incorporates synths. Uh, it can be kind of an undertone type feel. It can be uh, trailer-esque. It can be where, you know, it, it grows and drops and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it can be kind of cinematic. It can be uh, energetic. The point is, um, the point is analog synths are I don't want to say really coming back because they never really left. But what is definitely happening is that it's becoming more of a trend in TV music, uh, especially Netflix series. Uh, just look at the, the opening credits for the opening music for Stranger Things on Netflix. Um, that kind of analog synth stuff, with it, it's becoming more and more prominent and you're hearing it in a lot more um, TV stuff. And in fact, I have a project I'll be starting next month that will be incorporating a lot of analog, uh, analog synth stuff. And now I don't have a lot of analog synths, so I guess I'll be renting unless you're a synth developer and you want to give me stuff. <laughs> so, but getting back onto it, uh, my, my, my tip this week is start writing stuff that is synth heavy. I'm talking about kind of the old classic analog synths, a lot of Rollins and, and Moogs and 
And, and as always, it's just my opinion, but I'm noticing a huge trend in that music in movies and stuff. It's, it's becoming huge. So I predict that that is still on the rise and you'll see a lot more of it, uh, coming, not just in, in blockbuster movies, but, um, um, but in, in more, you know, YouTube on demand streaming kind of, uh, platforms as well. Um, and again, it's, it's always been there. It's not, this isn't a new thing. My point is that I believe there's a surge in that kind of stuff right now. And that's really growing therefore in demand. And therefore I think it will increase your odds to, to do it. And at a certain point, eventually, yeah, there might be a saturation of, of those kind of tracks, but Hey, what's that old saying? You, you'll always miss a hundred percent of the shots you never take. Right? So that's my short little video this week, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sitting through the first half. If you were only here for the music and if you only came in for the first half, I hope you'll find my, my channel interesting and stick around, subscribe and, uh, and comment. And, and I'll leave you guys with one last question. Are you a YouTuber yourself? Do you have a channel? And, and if so, are you affected by these, these new, um, these new standards that uh, YouTube has implemented? Please feel free to comment below. Tell me what your thoughts on it are. And, uh, and I'll catch you guys next week. Cheers, friends.